and Ramadan Mubarak, and happy Somali Independence Day. This is Congressman Keith Ellison, and I'm very happy to bring this Independence Day message to you. Congratulations to Somalia and all Somalis, including right here in the Twin Cities, uh, in the, uh, as they celebrate the 55th anniversary of independence of Somalia today. This makes the 55th year since Somalia proclaimed their independence in 1960. On July 1, 1960, North and South Somalia united to form one nation, the Republic of Somalia. Somali celebrated with speeches, with music, with grand celebrations of many kinds, and fostered unity and peace, hoisting the flag, got one right here, signing the national anthem with a colorful parade. Today is a celebration of Somali people wherever they may live, including Somali Americans right here in the United States. Somali culture, Somali freedom, and all of the great contributions the people of Somalia have given to the world and the United States and Minnesota. Out of approximately 150,000 Somali Americans in the United States, fully a third live right here in the 5th Congressional District, and I am very proud of this. We embrace the contribution of Somali Americans here and in the 5th District of Minnesota. The Somali American community is very active in ensuring social justice, inclusion for their community, but also for all communities. Somalis have fought for their own place at the table, but in so doing, have made space for other new Americans, East Africans, and people all over the world. So I thank you for that. We have a Somali elected officials, Somali starting businesses, Somali artists, even my own staffer, Mustafa Jamali, is a political activist in working to make me successful as a member of Congress. At the request of many of my constituents, I've traveled to Somalia and been to Mogadishu. And I've met there Somali government officials to learn more about my constituents' homeland. This trip provided me with first-hand experience about the transformation occurring in Somalia. And I've hosted President Hassan Mahmoud and Prime Minister Omar uh, Sharmaki in the United States to meet with members of Congress and other officials. For me, Somalia is not a foreign policy issue. It is a domestic issue and critical to the success of my community. I'm working hard to ensure Somalis and other East Africans are able to send remittances to their loved ones. I've spoken to President Obama about it, Secretary Kerry, and I've spoken to the United States Treasury Secretary, Jack Lew, about it many times, that he expects me to ask him about this whenever he sees me. I met with the Kenyan ambassador only a few weeks ago and asked his government with Somali remittances companies to restore licenses to those companies that provide that cash lifeline for so many Somali families. And I'm happy to hear that it was restored recently. Last week, my colleague and I, Mr. Thomas Emmer, joined together, Republican and Democrat, to set up a bipartisan congressional Somali caucus. Very important development. We're adding members. And if you live in a community where you'd like to see your member of Congress join the Somali caucus, give them a call. The purpose of the Somali caucus is to advocate for peace and stability between the United States and Somalia and build a joint partnership, a partnership that is based on mutual respect, mutual benefit. We want to walk away from this relationship where Somalia is considered a recipient of food aid. We want to partner in food production. We want to walk away from this relationship where Somalia is considered a security problem, but instead will be a security partner. And we want to walk away from a relationship where Somalia is receiving food aid from the world, but actually is a trading partner where we are exchanging goods and services that are wanted on both sides of the relationship. This dream can come true, but it's going to take the hard work of everyone, including you. Please call your member of Congress and ask them or her to join the Somalia caucus. I've seen 20 years. We've seen 20 years of conflict, terrorism, piracy, 
and refugees streaming out of Somalia. Right now, we have a real opportunity for a whole new future for Somalia. There's a parliament, members of the elected officials in Somalia are responsibly trying to take Somalia forward. We are in a new era and in a new time. But there's not one official from the president to the prime minister who can do it alone. Somalia's success depends upon all of us. That means building Somalia institutions and building a relationship, a durable, unbreakable bond between the United States and Somalia and the people of the United States and the people of Somalia. And your help is important here too. Artistic exchange, student exchange, trading goods and services, all these things are critical and you can play an important part. At the end of the day, I am sure, inshallah, that we will see better days. We've already had successes in the short term and there's reason to believe that there are more ahead. What we need to do though is work together, put the Somali-American relationship first, and then we also need to make sure that we get a few other things soon, which is why I'm asking the Obama administration to quickly nominate a new ambassador to Somalia. I also asked to ensure that Somali refugees in Dadaab where I have visited and is the largest refugee camp in the world that are repatriated on a voluntary basis, not a forced basis. Somalia is being filled with new life. People who've been in far-flung places as America, Europe, India, all over the globe, Somalia is, they're going back home to try to rebuild the greater Somalia. And even people who are staying in the United States and have made the United States their home are working hard to make sure their governments, their new governments, are working with Somalia to be, to strengthen itself. Until recently, Al-Shabaab controlled much of the country. Now it doesn't. They're on the run. Somalias are once again able to enjoy activities banned by the terrorist groups of Al-Shabaab. Today, crowds of people are filling the streets, socializing, shopping, creating a real community life. It's time to see Somalia in a new light. Not just a recipient of food aid, but as a potential trading partner and a security partner. That's our vision. Happy Somalia Independence Day. Somalia Handelatu. <laughs>